Hey, so this is an Arduino implementation of a fourth order Butterworth filter with a cutoff of 200 pi ratings per second. These over here are the initializations for the code. Uh, so this uh, t equals zero is gonna be the time uh, for the functions that you're inputting. This is the pi constant that you'll be using throughout the code. J equals zero is gonna be a counter. So every time you loop through the code, it'll increment. And this is gonna be the, uh, to count the time. And then it's later uh, converted to milliseconds and that's gonna be used over here in this. So it's gonna be used for the functions actually, your input functions. Time one is gonna be used for system time uh, since it started running. This array over here and this one as well, it's gonna be used uh, in the recursive function later on and through the code. So as you see, we have five values. So this is y of k plus four, y of, uh, y of k plus three, I mean f of k plus three, f k plus two, f k plus one, and f. And this just like this one. This right here is gonna be used to index the code, uh, index the array, so i equals four, so it's gonna lead you to this one right here. Then i minus one, i minus two, i minus three, etc. What we did here was uh, found a function to uh, create a square wave. So there's no actually signum operator inside of Arduino or C or any of those. So this one right here will actually make you a square wave. This right here and all this commented out code, this is, these are gonna be the input functions that we test through the filter. So it's gonna be F of T. And the first one we're gonna go through is cosine 100 pi T plus cosine 300 pi T. And this is uh, like I explained up here, it's gonna increment, convert it to uh, milliseconds, and it's the system time being pulled. And over here, what this line is, this line right here, it's moving the values of i up the array. So whatever's here now becomes here, and becomes here and moves down all the way through. We have them initialized to zero because the, force, the first four runs through the code, they're gonna be, uh, that's gonna be all zero initially. And after that point, that's when your filter starts working properly. And this line right here works just like this one, moves the values up the array. And right here, fi equals sensor value. That's uh, so the current iteration is uh, going to be set to whatever you have as your input function. And this right here is a recursive function that we found using first finding the uh, the filter in the s domain and converting it to Z transform, accounting for sampling, and then uh, getting a discrete function for it. And this is, uh, then we came across the recursive function, which works well in the code. These right here are just for the sake of plotting it. And this right here is so that, um, to account for the delay between the two. And this right here will print the, your Y value, your output. Okay, so the blue signal is the input and the red one is the output. And this operator is expected since uh, the cutoff is 200 pi radians per second, while the second part of the function was cosine 300 pi of t. So anything outside of 200 pi uh, radians per second will be cut out, hence the red signal. This is when we input cosine 100 pi t plus cosine 200 pi t, still within the cutout range. So the red signal is almost the same as the blue one, just a little bit reduced. This is when we input cosine 100 pi of t plus cosine 1200 pi of t. And again, we get the red signal is the filtered one, which is cosine 100 pi of t. Since the second part is out of phase, uh, out of the range, you see the noise and all of the input signal, it's all filtered out in the red one. Okay, this is when you input cosine 100 pi of t plus cosine 2000 pi of t. Now the input does not look as fuzzy as it should, but the output is still cosine 100 pi of t. The second part of the signal is taken off and it's smooth and uh, filtered out.
this is when you input a square wave. It's one VPP with 20 hertz. Uh, you can see the blue one is a square wave, of course. And after the filter, it's a lot smoother around the impulses. See those jumps at the uh, top and the bottom? So the filtered signal is the red one again, and that's how it looks after going through this filter.